about football! You're probably wondering, in a big family like ours, how do we do meals and how do we make sure everybody gets their fair share? Well, that's a good question. And today we have a bag of chips and we're going to show you. <laughs> Give me the chips! Oh, hey, all right, here we go. I'll go check on her. Okay. Our verse for today comes out of Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. And then there's also the Gospel of John, chapter 15. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Hey, Ruthie, what you doing? Oh, I just got tired of our chip wars and decided to grow my own corn for my own chips. Well, don't you need a seed? Nope, I just put a pine cone on a stick so it looks like corn. I'm hoping it's delicious. Sorry, Ruthie, but no matter how long you wait, that will not become corn. It's dead. To be a corn cob, it needs to be attached to a life-giving stalk of corn. In the same way, spiritually, we need to be attached to the vine of Jesus so that we can bear fruit and we can live in him and through him. We can't bear fruit on our own. It kind of reminds me of Barry and the time that he played baseball. I am excited to coach you guys this year because I am told that none of you have been coached baseball before. So guys, we can start from the ground up. So if you need anything, I am here for you. If you need a drink, we've got I'm gonna impress this coach so much. You Are you really good? I've never played before. Got some, uh, awesome. there for you. So the first thing you need to know about baseball is Just play what it. you need to do is be perfect at it. Well, when you get started, you never need look to back. <laughs> Woo! Hey, that's like a half point for her. And half a point for me because she hit it, but I helped it go over the the wall. What? All right, Bear, get in there and be a hitter. Be a hitter. Oh. I was just standing up here, but I, I knew I needed to be a hitter. What? Ugh. No, Barry, I meant get a hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Barry, like, get a home run. Oh. Hello? Ran it home. You ran home. Barry, if you'll just let me teach you. No, I've got this. Ask, ask me anything. Ask me anything. When you hit a foul. It has to be in season. No, no, no. If you have two strikes. Then the company goes completely out of business. Barry, what is a double? Oh, that's uh, two cheeseburgers on one bun, lettuce, tomato, and onions. A little bit of mayonnaise. I can see by your face that you're impressed. Yeah. Oh, no! Whoa! Sacked! <laughs> Barry! This is not football! But I know it's not football, it's, it's, it's best ball. Ah! Barry, slide! Okay. Whee! I love baseball! Barry, if he's not pitching good, take a walk. Yeah, I know. Barry, Barry, settle down. Myself. I'm not here for you to impress me. You're not? No. I but what do you want from me? I want you to sit with me and let me teach you. <laughs> yeah. I want you to learn from me. And then I want you to take everything that I've put into you and go play the game. Okay. You know, God hasn't called us to run around trying to impress him with all that we can do in our own strength. He calls us to live in him, abide in him, and live in and through him. As we live in and through him, he begins to change us into who he wants us to be. When the Bible talks about Peter, it talks about a man who had a lot of passion for Jesus. He loved Jesus and said he would always stand by him. But when Jesus was taken away to be crucified, Peter denied three times that he even knew Jesus. Jesus wasn't surprised that Peter denied him. As a matter of fact, Jesus even told Peter that it would happen. 
he knew that Peter needed the power of the Holy Spirit. After Jesus' resurrection, the power of the Holy Spirit came into Peter's life. And through the power of the Holy Spirit, he was given boldness to side with and proclaim Jesus to the very ones who crucified Jesus. Because now, he had the will and the power to. I guess you were right about the corn. Huh? Then where'd you get the chips? Mommy opened another bag of chips. What? Save the crumbs for daddy! <laughs> I got the bag right here. This is Isaac and Catherine, Carol. Yep. You guys just got what? Married. 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 And they have a YouTube channel. Tell me about your YouTube channel. Well, we've got it listed on YouTube as Isaac and Catherine. We're just sharing our journey and uh, our life with uh, our viewers and trying to encourage them in their day-to-day -day walk with Christ and that we're just using, letting God use our life to do that. If you want to check out their vlog in their beginning, beginning of their story, then go check it out. Click on the link below. Tell you what, I gave Isaac probably some of the hardest hits that um, we've ever done in the Jordan Michael Tuesday show, and I'll probably put that in a blooper. But anyway, if you want to see that blooper, you can go over to our Patreon page and click on below and consider becoming a patron of the Jordan Michael Tuesday show. As we like to say on the Jordan Michael Tuesday show, we will see you next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> on the channel. Okay, let's try that again. We'll see you next time on the Jordan Michael, Michael Tuesday, Tuesday no, show. No, no, that was polished. <laughs> we'll see you next time on, on the, the Jordan, Jordan Michael, Michael Tuesday, Tuesday show. show. Very good.